Good morning, everybody. <laughs> ah, now, if you follow Deluxe Gaming like I do, you'll note that he has released his announcement video for his 10th reassembly tournament. <laughs> now, he has said something very interesting. He has two little um, categories, one for Dreadnoughts, which is very nice, a singular a 1v1, which is good, missed that. <laughs> but he's also obviously doing a fleet tournament with a 60,000 PCAP. 60,000. Now that in itself is very awesome, and I've already actually formulated an Uber Assault Armada. However, however, he also said that you could just send in one ship with 60,000 P. There is no individual ship P limit. Now this is a predicament, as you can imagine. Because, well, although I could make a Tinkwell ship, or a Terran ship, or a Sentinel ship with millions of nukes, I would rather not do that. I would rather send in something a little more... Yolandarian. You know, uh, Yolandarian or... Redian. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> now, I could build this in the normal game. However, the normal game actually has a maximum block restriction limit. Which is interesting. I mean, not really restricted, but when I was building the Crucible <laughs> Mark 5 and 1, one to 5, that is 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, it actually bumped me up against a little uh, a block limit. So I actually kind of had to individually drag blocks in. I mean, I couldn't copy them, and it really took a while. So I'm going to build it in sandbox mode where I... Although it's a little more hard, because I can't just instantly pull things out of there, it's going to be a little less taxing, in a way. <laughs> also, I can design two ships at once if I feel like it. So, I want to build one heck of a Landarian battleship. Which means I need to do the ancient Yolandarian tactic of Smirchelvivildiblob, or hyper-evacuation technology. Uh, because I like it, and I think it works pretty well at certain times. What is hyper-evacuation -eva technology? This. Basically, it's just, you know, if I need to get a hell out of there, I can. <laughs> Not necessarily how it works, and in fact, I just came up with it right now, because I feel like it. <laughs> Yes, but I'm going to build an Omega class. Well, I mean, okay, no, the no, the LSA and Hughes Orion class. That's their biggest class of ship. Therefore, what is the Landarian? Defender class? No, Defender. I think should be. Maybe Defender class is the correct thing. I don't know, but I'm going to create sort of. I I don't know. I don't know what I want with the Landarian build um, scheme, but I think something like this might be cool. I'm probably giving myself too little room, but. Use that as the uh, kind of the, the that is the origin. This is the Mark II. Yeah, I know I'm making a Mark II already, but it's because I want everything to be sort of um, tactically efficient. Also, the house alarm just went off. Give me a moment, please. All right, good. Okay, <laughs> nothing to worry about. The rest of the family is just back. From their nightshawl endeavors. <laughs> nightshawl endeavors. Sounds quite strange, but, uh, you know. Also, what have I created here? I don't know, but I think I like it. I think, <laughs> I think it looks quite cool, in fact, in a way. I don't know. I think it looks nice. What we can add to the end of this is just a massive spike. Perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know if this is going to be true Yolandarian. I don't, I don't know if this is going to be a true Yolandarian ship, but it it should fit the bill. <laughs> I mean, when I built the Tomoil, it wasn't really a true anything. It wasn't even a true Lahorian ship. It was just a ship because I wanted to make a ship. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, that's plausibly what this is going to just be. A, 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 maybe not a, a Yalandarian ship specifically, but um, more.
more so just a, a B faction ship of epicness. <laughs> I mean, the LSN Supreme Demorta was the LSN, or technically, yeah, LSN. <laughs> so I mean, you know, it depends. It depends what I want to do. I wish this was my Yolanda, my Yolanda Defenders mod because then I could put in Omega beams, and that would be super fun. <laughs> Uh, like that would redefine, redefine what? <laughs> redefine fun in every form. <laughs> I would hope anyway. Uh, so I mean that that's a nice frontal lazorcality, uh, I presume. I kind of want to sort of level it off there. Then as we increase in bacular distance, the weapon spacing also starts to increase. Uh, I think that's going to be how I'm going to plan this. I want it to come up like that, and then sort of system. Okay, I think that works nicely. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I know this is interestingly strange, but this is how I feel like building today. I, I don't think I really have a way of building, do I? I think I do. I probably do. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm probably babbling on for no reason besides I want to babble on. Babylon. Yeah, Babylon and the Bible. Boom. Babylon and the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, now. What the heavy body work? Little bits and bobs and squibs and squabs. I think I want a grey. I think I want a sort of greyish block here. And then a U and a U. Thank you. <laughs> Look, it, look, it works. <laughs> I think it works, at least. Um, I'm going to do this sort of tacticality, because I think it just looks far better than just leaving it squibbled like that. Oh, look at that. Much better. <laughs> and we can just snap a little grey bitty uh, at the back there. <laughs> oh, indeed. Push it on a bit. Yeah, I know. I don't have any music going on in the background. What is wrong with me today? <laughs> well, I, I think I, I think I'm just not in the mood for mute. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Whatever mute is. I, I, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I could hum to myself, but people would probably get horrified. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Actually, <laughs> ah, ah, that looks quite cool. Quite that that works quite cool. Wow, my my angle my English, spreading deliciously is right now is now can be yes, right now yes can, cool. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we're going to want a large centralized shield conductor. Sort of a, a hard point concentration. So I am working with the Alandarian build tactics. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if this were a true Alandarian ship, it would not be as t uh, robust as it currently <laughs> is. Also, no, when I build Titans, do I seem to like always go for like, <laughs> like? Very army thing. What's I think that's I feel like, yeah. This is like an arm, and this is also probably going to be an arm. Knowing me, or should I build this like the like the Alanda, like the oddly cooked Alanda thingamabobber? <laughs> the oddly, <laughs> that was a funny day, I have to say. Um, if any of you have seen that um, episode of Deluxe's Tournaments, <laughs> look. The reason that exists is because I sent in I sent in the turmoil to Anna. I called it. I called it. <laughs> I knew it was going to get versed against, like, either Amazing or Camo. In fact... No, I think I think I did get... I, I think I actually did guess Amazing. And then I got versed against him, so, you know... As a preemptive defensive countermeasure, I just... I sent in... <laughs> sent in a... a, a just a, a batshit crazy ship. Sorry, language, I know, but, unfortunately... Uh, I want to express it like that. Just a very... 
over the top ship. <laughs> uh, very, very crazily named and very amusing, hopefully, to everybody. And it, 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 it was. It was received well, so I'm glad for that. Um, and also just like as a backup sent in, because it actually won a battle. So I'm, I, you know, I wasn't as depressed about that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the two models have got sent against somebody instantly. I mean, uh, gosh darn, it's amazing. <laughs> And I swear that Amazing and Camo were just going to uber try hard this. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know. Amazing is going to send in a Faction 4 ship, and so is Camo, plausibly. If they don't, and they send something that looks cool, you know how I'll respond. I'll, I, I, I applaud anyone that uh, you know is going for the sweet generous <laughs> uh, deluxe's uh, look good trophy, which I honestly think is a brilliant idea. Um, this is the Mark II. Yeah, I know. Wow, we're going through marks quite quickly. We're only 11 minutes in. But I, I, this is just how I build. I build spontaneously, and then if it looks bad, then I rip it all to shreds. <laughs> also, I guess I'm just very lucky. <laughs> uh, I, either that, or I just... I don't know. I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do. It, it makes no sense to me either. Trust me. Um, I Trust me, I have to survive in this, hit, in this brain. I, some days, I don't know what goes on. <laughs> well, I do. I, I'm saying this more for comedic effect and because really I don't have music going on so I feel as if everyone's going to get bored but they shouldn't be because they're here to watch me build I mean hopefully you can tell that from the name of the, of the video so you know, I mean, you should be able to you have to be able to, otherwise why are you here? Why are you here Mr. Calarian? Is there a reason you'd like to discuss? Wow that actually fits on perfectly Wow Okay, okay Okay Okay! Speaking of insanity, you know, a, a, a bit of it's just kind of surfaced, surfaced there. <laughs> um. Uh, gosh, what was this doing? I don't want to put it there because then it looks almost a little bit too squiggly, if you know what I mean. I mean, squiggly isn't a very descriptive statement. I can, I can, I can imagine. However, um, if I did this, it would look better, much better. Okay, now, I, d I don't want to do that, I want to do that, right, yeah. Okay, and then we'll put that there. And then we'll do that. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, and I don't know what purpose it's going to have, but it's so help, help me, it's going to look awesome. <laughs> oh, this could actually be a broadside battery. That's actually very true. It could be a broadside battery. Good thinking, me. <laughs> uh, it could be a broadside battery, and that actually wouldn't be a bad use of its space. That gets to be filled in somehow. I suppose. Not by a shield generator. That's a bad idea. Don't don't use shield generators as armor. That's not fun. Um I want to use the other blocks to sort of accentuate the colour. <laughs> but I, I don't think I'll be able to really not in a nice way anyway. So I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is going to serve. I don't know what the point of this is, but it's going to do something, and it's going to be amazing. It can do that, and honestly, I have no problem. So, yeah. All right, guys, this is getting at 14 minutes, and I'm just going to stop it here, and uh, I'll be back later. So, yeah. Well, I say later, I mean, like, like maybe in about 13 seconds, plausibly. So, yeah. Until next time, chaps. Cheerio.